like this always just praying there's not a truck coming along because there's nowhere to pull off yeah I'm uh, mental noting every pullover spot I see there's that few of them that um, the one at the corner there was the first one I've seen in like two switchbacks so that's good we have a fresh one there we'd only have to back up it's still further than I want to back up on yeah. a shelf road but uh, most of these, there's lots of little nooks where you go, oh, I could seesaw my truck over into that. But this is pretty much sheer cliff and then rock face, so you don't really have a whole lot of options. Remember the bridge we hope existed? After we crossed it, we found ourselves in a tiny little town. Once we passed through the town, we hit some construction. Then we hit some more construction, and some more construction. As you can see, we're not getting anywhere quickly on this road. We've, this is what, the third stop? Yeah, third stop. Uh, first one was almost an hour, and then uh, second one was just, you know, what, 15 minutes, 20 minutes? Yeah, and, and this, this one one's is going to be, gonna be a, a an hour or two, I think, <laughs> at least. So we're just making lunch, and it's 9 a.m., though, or 9.45, so it's just one of those things that doesn't really matter. It's going to be a long time regardless. Yeah. noon now yeah we left like extra early this morning when we get going like 6 45 or something yeah we, were, we left pretty early from our camp spot and we've but gone construction. probably five miles oh, it was so hot and bugs and like just sitting waiting wondering if you're ever gonna get through so we'll see how far we get because we can already see there's more construction ahead yeah, but there's the next uh, backhoe ahead so we just don't know if it's a roadblock Hoping it's lunch break right now. Yeah, if it's lunch break, maybe we can all get by. But then once we get into town, we'll also have to wait for lunch break for the insurance. The insurance, because yeah, the lunch break for the insurance place, and you have to have insurance in Peru, is in one hour, and it's gonna at least take us an hour to get into town, so. Yeah. Unfortunately, we had to wait three or four more times. All of them only 10 to 15 minutes, though. It is 1.10 and we made it to a tiny little uh, office where hopefully they will sell us so at insurance because <laughs> uh, most places are closed so hopefully we get lucky and it seems like Tim's been in there long enough that uh, they will sell it to us. We're on a teeny little road. The traffic in this city is insane. I don't know how anyone makes sense of it. Uh, by far the craziest traffic we've seen so far. Um, and then after this, I think we'll go buy a grocery store, get gas, and head out of town. And hopefully the rest of the, day's, the day goes a lot smoother than the beginning of the day. Because we've done a lot of sweating and waiting, and I'm covered in bug bites. Because where we waited, there were lots of bugs. So, it's been a bit of a frustrating day so far but hopefully it goes better later we got insurance yay it was so much fun show them uh, i know we did it on the gopro but show them the insanity and this is actually in the outskirts of town so it's nicer now little motorcycle bikes everywhere 
there aren't really any rules. People do eventually stop when it's red, but then they kind of go when it's still red too. Um, so yeah, we're learning the new rules. Way different than Ecuador. We made it to a grocery store, which of course I filmed on the GoPro. So there's no footage. It is now about 2.30, we've got groceries. We are all stocked up, we're getting gas, and then out of town, and we are free and done. Thank God. This kid was selling little trinkets at the gas station while his mom worked the pumps. He asked if I was interested in anything he was selling, which I wasn't, but I offered him a candy. And he lit up, and he proceeded to point to each sticker on Goose and ask, Que es? Tim patiently told him about each one and gave him a sticker of Goose for himself. He was so excited that he wanted a photo with us, and a few weeks later, our friends Beald later hit the same gas station and came across our sticker. Pretty cool. Little interactions like this make our day. Yeah. somewhere to camp. It's just a trailhead actually, but it's nice and cool. What do you think, Timothy? I think I'm brain dead tired. That was a long freaking day. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, it's tough because we killed four and a half hours, or is it five? Just sitting in the sun, sweating. Yeah, just sitting at low <laughs> elevation, waiting for the uh, the guys to finish building the road. So, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> it's kind of a important thing. And uh, I'm sure all the locals knew, like, oh, yeah, you don't go down that road today. Obviously, they're yeah. they're building uh, or rebuilding it, I think. But yeah. uh, it's just tired because you're tough. I can't even speak. <laughs> you're just sitting there in the sun baking for hours, and you don't know how long. Yeah. And you can get out of the truck, but then you get bit by uh, biting flies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm covered in bites. Yeah. But, but that was kind of the beginning of the day, right? And we're just like, oh, man, please get better. And then the last, what, two hours? Mm -hmm. Crazy. So giant beautiful. canyon yeah. huge river red rock like sedona moab yeah. type red rock now we're camped under cliff there's a crazy cool waterfall over there it's really long <laughs> yeah yeah and there's like i don't know it's just a really neat area yeah and we ascended from the riverside where it was still pretty hot and humid so we mm -hmm. thought we'd be sleeping with the fan on and we just went straight up and now we're i don't know what do you think six seven thousand feet look at, at least it, but it feels pretty chilly so yeah now we're up in uh pine forest eucalyptus I don't know what these other ones are, to be honest. Yeah. But, oh, it's nice. So we're at our camp spot. Yeah. And we've Just got road. leftovers made for this occasion. It's curry. It'll we'll work better once it comes up. <laughs> and water for rice. The watery, Filtered ourselves. The watery kind of water. Yeah, where'd that come from, actually? Uh, from some river. No, that's see. from Cotopaxi. Yes, so that water would be from the, the aqueduct that's taking the snow melt down off Cotopaxi. So it's it's pretty, crazy how far we are water. from Cotopaxi right now. Yeah. We're still on that resupply of water. So it's about time, though, for us. We're down to seven gallons or something, so it's yeah. time to get back to 25 or whatever. Yep. And water's expensive in Peru. It's uh, five bucks for five some gallons. Places, some places it's, it looks like it'll be cheap, though. Yeah, I'm sure in it will the, be, but for us with this filter, it, yeah. you know, it's just, if we can find a river, it's worth doing it. The river we were on today was like raging, fast, brown river with no calm sides, you know, kind of a sharp canyon. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting down there. Hang <laughs> <laughs> on. Peru's cool. Um, it's kind of apprehensive entering a new country. You're, you get so used to one, even just, we are there, what, a month and a half? Yeah. In Ecuador, so that was a pretty long time in for Ecuador us. Ecuador was pretty comfy because of the dollar. And yeah, dollar, everyone was so friendly. 
whether you're in the country, the Amazon jungle areas, the mountains, the yeah, big city. Pretty, yeah, it was a pretty easy country. Everyone was friendly. So many people spoke English. But I think it was also comfy because you're used to it. You're like, I know what to expect here. I know that when the cop tried to get money out of us, I was able to push back, and then he kind of backed down. Um, you're in a new country, new rules, new expectations, and you don't know what the etiquettes are, you know. Um, so it's a little apprehensive, but... I already now feel comfortable here, I think. Yeah. It'll take a couple more days. We're only on our second day, but uh, I already feel good about Peru. So, Thanks for coming along. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And join us next time as we troubleshoot Goose and find more epic views in Peru. You showed him the water? Like that. What'd you guys think of the water? This is uh, some clear water. It's the wow. clear kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm.